But uh, this next guest, uh, this is a huge get for any podcast, anyone. Uh, we snagged uh, one of the greatest filmmakers of our time, uh, somebody who I've, I've looked up to since I was a little boy, and I'm, I'm such a, he's made films such as uh, Indiana Jones, Jaws, uh, and Jurassic Park. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna bring him out for you. I'm, I'm so excited to introduce to you guys, everyone here, Mr. 1993, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> this is the future, huh? <laughs> So first of all, you look fucking great. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I look so much like myself. I'll start with you. How are you doing, Stephen? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much, Simon. Now, uh, where, where do I even start? I mean, this is 1993. You're on a critical commercial high with the release of Jurassic Park. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you feel about it? I feel amazing. You know, I always thought we were doing something great while we were filming it, but to see that we're celebrating this film decades after it's come out, it's, it just fills me with joy. Oh my god. Um... <laughs> okay, next question. You're a family man. You're a filmmaker. You're a philanthropist. <laughs> How do you juggle it all? Well, look, let me turn that around on you, my friend. <laughs> you are an amazing cartoonist. You're a hilarious <laughs> comedian. You have a living girlfriend. <laughs> How do you juggle it all? Get off my dick. <laughs> get off it. Shoot. Not until you get off my motherfucker. You have six kids, man. Yeah. You have six kids. How do you, uh, th does having so many kids keep you uh, connected to your inner child? Um, yeah, sort of. Mostly I just uh, love to fuck. <laughs> yeah, Stevie Spiels loves to uh, bust ropes, just loves to blow loads, you know? <laughs> love it! Uh, hey, if a, if a little Spiel baby is just gonna. First, I have Kate Capshaw's regime, then fuck it, I'll give it a home, you know what I'm saying? I'm Steven Spielberg! Things are super different in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, do you, do you, how are you actually staying connected to your childhood sense of wonder then? Well, um, I don't know if you remember, I made this movie, uh, E.T. Oh, yeah. I'm a huge fan of E.T. Yeah, it's, you oh. seem to be the only fucking one, though. <laughs> E.T., everybody. Oh. Oh. Stop. Stop. Yeah, so that, that movie is about well, childhood wonder and shit. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I, I think that it's, it was originally about your parents' divorce, am I right? Oh my god, you're such a good researcher, son. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> No, that's amazing. Yeah, actually, it is about that, but what a lot of people don't know is that it's also about the time that I became friends with a space alien. <laughs> so it was actually based on true events? Yeah, most of my movies are based on true events. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like exactly the same, obviously. Like, in the movie, right, Billy, Billy? is 12 years old. Right. And, and in real life, I was an adult. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the movie, his name is Billy. Right. And then in real life, my name is Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> and those are, those are the only differences? Well, um, the alien's neck looked more like a dick, <laughs> but they told us it's one that 
down. So. Uh, do, do you and the do you and the aliens still talk? No, no, it's just our lawyers now. I, uh, <laughs> I allegedly owe millions of dollars. So are there any other films of yours that were based off of real events? Yeah, just about every one of them, even movies that I just produced. Like, are you familiar with An American Tale, Five Will Goes West? <laughs> Five Will Goes West? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, that is actually based on my time as a little Jewish mouse in the Wild West. <laughs> that is amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and that movie Jaws. Jaws? Yeah. yeah. So one time I, I went on a fishing trip, right? And the movie Draws is actually about uh, my wife Kate Cashfast Vegine! Okay, it's, uh, it's not gonna fly, 2018 bro. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, now Spielberg. Uh, <laughs> all those movies all of those movies were based on real events and they're all fantastic movies. Congratulations. Thank you so much. But you know what? I listened to that Peter Brown episode, and it was amazing. Wait, you listen to my podcast. Oh, fuck, I listen to your podcast, dude. Get <laughs> the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah, when you tried driving me over here, I was like, what's this podcast thing? And then I listened to the first episode, and then smashed that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> I told you before, get off my dick right away. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, <laughs> uh, do you have anything in the works right now? Well, with, you know, after after Jurassic Park, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get real, you know. Nice. And, and, and I think I think I've got this this movie, this World War II movie. It's sad this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know? Uh, it's about this guy Oscar Schindler. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I've got this actor in mind, his name is Liam Neeson, and he's, he's very masculine. You know, he's got that, like, big, big dick energy. energy. Big exactly. Dick energy. <laughs> yeah, you have that saying in the future. Um, yeah, I have this scene in my head where Liam Neeson is on the phone with a Nazi, and he says, if you're looking for a ransom, I'll tell you I have no money. Well, what I do have is a very specific set of Jews. <laughs> uh, so what, what are you thinking about calling it? I'm thinking of calling it Taken for Colon. Get your hands off my goddamn Jews. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just a, a spitball for a second. Have you thought about maybe like just Schindler's List? Okay. That's not bad. Right? <laughs> what about Schindler's List of Jews he really likes? <laughs> <laughs> or, or we'll go, we'll go another way. Uh, S S Stevie Spiel's talking Holocaust. <laughs> and then the VHS cover is just me looking very sad. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds really, really good. And I bet you it's going to sound even better during award season. Oh my god, I want an Oscar so fucking bad. <laughs> Do you know how many times I've been nominated and I still haven't won? It's been uh, 11 years. 11 years, 11 <laughs> nominations. You have not, in, two, in 1993, you have not won an Oscar. I, Steven Spielberg is not, that's a, that's a travesty. It's a fucking travesty. It's just like that time when you didn't win Funniest Person of the Day job at the comic strip. <laughs> It was a lot of politics. <laughs> That's true, but you know what? You sell yourself short. You're really fucking funny. Stop. <laughs> Hello, this is your captain speaking with the passenger on my left. Please get off my dick. Please. <laughs> I 
think we're ready to talk about the big one. The reason we're all here, Jurassic Park. Yes. Uh, yes. What got you interested in making this movie? You know, I, I read the book, you know, and it was great. Um, and, and it really, it, it got me to explore all of the themes that I love, you know? Capitalism, and science, and children, and life, <laughs> life and death. And also Terminator 2 was so fucking good, it was so fucking good. And then James Cameron just wagging his dick in my face. <laughs> <laughs> he's just wagging his dick in my face like an asshole. That guy thinks he's the greatest of all time. He thinks he's the GOAT. You think he's the goat? You're the goat. I'm you're the, the goat. goat. You look most like a goat. I look most like a goat. <laughs> I honestly had no idea that you were this competitive with James Cameron. No, I don't care. He fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you hate him? I, I don't hate him. His movies are fine, I guess. I mean, you know, like, he's such a fucking poser. Just, ugh. You know his next movie I hear is about a boat. What the fuck? <laughs> no one's gonna watch that. Right? Yeah, I did that. Jaws is a boat movie. Yeah, Jaws is a boat Jaws movie. Jaws is the first boat movie. Yeah, that was a, that was a great boat yeah, movie. It was a fucking great boat movie. You know what else? I made Hook. Hook, that's a great yeah. movie and too. Yeah, a pirate ship. Does it look yeah. like Titanic and a pirate ship? No. <laughs> No, you. Of course you not. You have a pirate ship, man. Yeah, and you know what? You just, you just keep the secret. Is just, you just keep the boat on the dock, and then it never leaves. That's what people want. Just keep it uh, I, I think um, uh, everybody. Hook is one of my favorites. I think it's, oh. you guys love Hook. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you have any cool tidbits, anecdotes from the, the filming? You know what? I that was such a great experience. You know, I love working. Robin, who's a good friend of mine. The late, great Robin Williams. Wait, what? He's <laughs> <laughs> great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's great. We're, we're very good friends. And my friend Bob. You know, Bob Hoskins, the yeah. late, great. What? <laughs> is also in that movie. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. He's me. Yeah, it was a uh, wonderful... Yeah, but you know what? Hey, so this kid, right? Rufio? I don't know if Rufio. you know. Yeah, Rufio. I love yeah. Rufio. No one else likes Rufio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Rufio. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so a lot of people... I, I can't wait to hear a Rufio story. This is excellent. See, a lot of people don't know Rufio... Filipino film. <laughs> Is that the end of the story? <laughs> yes. It's a big thing for diversity, you know? They're like, Steven, you're crazy. You can't hire a Filipino film. I said, of course I can. I'm Steven Spielberg. <laughs> and it was so good, I was like, no more Filipinos ever. <laughs> <laughs> It's really cool that you took a stand like that. Yeah, well, you know, somebody has to. Uh, now, in, in the future, uh, I'm sorry to say that the Jurassic Park franchise uh, it sort of becomes a little bit bloated. Uh, the sequels aren't really as good. Sequels? There's a lot of sequels. Oh, no. What? What happens? Why would he even go back to the island? Uh, well, they all sort of like blend together in my mind, uh, but I think for some of them it's like it's money. Sometimes it's like they have to save oh. somebody. But you know, it's, it's it's fine. The movies are actually not that bad, right? They're okay. <laughs> I, I feel I feel really bad, sir. I feel like no, it's it's okay, man. You're, you're no, fine. no, 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 no. I feel like this is taken away from your childhood somehow. Nobody, nobody's childhood is being hurt by those movies being made. People gotta make money, I'm, bro. I'm very sorry. So I just, I want you to accept my apology. Listen, come okay, here. Okay, you don't need to do this. No, 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 come here. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, this, is, this is so nice. Thank you. You don't have to do it, though. I, I promise you. Listen, it's, it's just it's just a movie, you know. You, you time traveled me to the future. You made a podcast. <laughs> you showed me all these people, and, and I, I'm really grateful for that. And you you've been fucking great. Thanks so much, everybody. Bring <laughs> <laughs>